Hello all, it's me. Daily run with Samson. Samson going as far as Megastan. Well, this is going to be fun. Probably should have done the curse room first. Curse room would give us our. Excuse me, please die. Uh, up damage. I was going to say bonus. It's obviously uh, a bonus to our damage. It's also a damage penalty because this is a daily run and we have to consider our score. Hmm. There's really no point doing self sacrifice rooms today because we are going all the way to the dark room, probably, and we are going to do Mega Saiyan anyway. It may have been unwise. Wow, did you see that? Uh, I didn't know that could happen, but now that I do know that could happen, I'm going to be aware of it. It may have been unwise of me to finish off the last of the ports before doing this run, but, you know, loosey goosey. See, look, it happened again. There was just happened to be nothing for me to hit this time around. Uh, Curse of the Lost does not fill me full of confidence, but we have found a uh, little Steven. Yay. We found our item room, which is fine. There's a magnet there, which I'm not entirely bothered about trying to get to, even though it's obviously impossible for us to do so. Um, I don't care that it's impossible for us to do so because I don't want it. So that's a good state to be. What is this enemy doing? There we go. Alright. Alright. This thing can die. I really want to avoid taking any damage from this thing because it will do a full heart because it's a champion. Take the pill. Balls of steel. Perfect. Wow, that was a good pill. Excellent pill, in fact. Try and, um, try and deal with these things first. The, the, the other ones that spawn... Uh, usually corn flies, but apparently this time nothing at all. Can wait. And curse of the lost. Not only do I not know where I'm going, but I can't avoid the large rooms, which is standard practice, really. Obviously, large rooms are a bit harder. Although I do tend to find that large rooms are between you and where you need to be. Uh, so avoiding them is just good practice in the sense of they're hard. I don't want to do them. But they do tend to be what you need to do anyway, so it's kind of a toss-up between doing them, getting them out of the way, and avoiding them because... Oh, another one! Jinkies! We're definitely on Curse of the Lost, right? I mean, I, I can't see where I'm going. Oh, shit, look at that. This is more like Curse of the fucking shit-ass floor that everyone hates. At least that's what I'm calling it. Curse of the every single room is a large room full of dickhead enemies who I hate. Look. We're not going to be... <laughs> we need to do everything. We need to do boss rush. We need to do hush, which is going to be dull. Hey, at least our uh, damage is causing us to do more damage. We haven't got a bomb, which is a shame. Because there's a tinted drop there and nowhere else to go. So this is, the, this is a dead end. It's a huge double room curse of the dead ends. Oh, here we go. That's where we want to be. Our damage bonus is great. But, uh, but, of course, it meant that we took a lot of damage to get it, so... Three minutes on the first floor. That's what Curse of the Lost does. I was going to say for you, more like to you. Yeah, we need to do Hush. Uh, and I know how everyone loves watching the Hush fight. It's almost as much as I like doing the Hush fight. When we first did it, when I first did it, I enjoyed it. But... Now, uh, take it or leave it. Mostly leave it, if I'm honest. It takes time. It doesn't fill me with confidence. I've done everything I care to do on this floor. I'm not going to be able to get to that tinted rock, so I'm just going to leave. We haven't got a curse, which is amazing. Unfortunately, we don't have great damage. Fortunately, that thing exploded that, and we have a fool card. The fool card would let us get out of the curse room, which is here. Uh, oh, bad, 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 bad. Right, try and use the cube of meat here. Yeah. Trying to get the cube of meat between me and them. That got us into the position where we could sort of try and stay in the right position. Trying to stay in the right position is not as easy as I make it sound. Just keep it between you and them. Yeah, sure. Nice one. These things. Farting all over the place. This has not been a common theme. You know? I should have used the full cards to get out of the curse room, which is exactly what I said it was going to do. Look. Not really uh, paying 100% attention right now. It's not like I had a lot of port left. It's just I drank the rest of it. It was maybe a glass with? Uh, we do have enough keys to get in here, which is beneficial. Hope it's a good thing to get. Uh, I took technology. Mm, I like technology. 
especially early on. Uh, but it can be. Uh, that was that was brilliant. Well done. Yeah, just walk on the spike. Technology can be uh, a, a bad thing. It can kind of ruin a run as much as it can make one work. But early on, I think it's good because we can we can try and aim for tiers upgrades and things like that. I haven't even got a spacebar item, which does not fill me with confidence. Lots of things don't fill me with confidence. I know. But that seems to be my uh, my mode d'emploi, my raison d'être, is to not be filled with confidence. But technology with a good tiers upgrade, a good damage upgrade, can be really good. It's got a full infinite range sort of thing going on. It's got instant travel time. It's just not, you know, stupendously outrageously good. I do prefer tech 2. But Monstro's dead. That's all we can really ask for. Uh, damage and range upgrade is basically perfect and I'm going to take this I know the other one is a spacebar item but I, I really don't care All right, I'm, I'm trying to make up for some time we took a bit more time than I'd anticipated on the previous floor well the first floor I don't think this is going to attack envy but we'll find out it took too long on the first floor because we kept getting trolled by huge rooms that's fine we just make up the time now uh, <laughs> might as well take it well, why not I guess uh, nope. Again, self-sacrifice rooms are... Ooh, that was bad. Are a thing. Except for when you're already going all the way to Mega Satan anyway. At which point, there's no point doing them. We might as well go in here now. What's done is done. We did actually manage to get some good use out of Shoot the Whip, so I feel like everything that could be done has been done. Shoot the Whip not being shit kind of makes this a good run. Please, please, careful, wow. I, I think technology is a damage downgrade, but still, this is taking the piss a little bit. Good, uh, we'll take it. Retrovision, doesn't directly hurt us, so I'm not salty about it. Um, although, I would be happier if we hadn't had it. That was a, a dodge and a half, I managed it though. Just don't get hit, try not to take too much dumb damage. Obviously, the damage we take fuels the damage we do. Uh, but that's no. I'm gonna re-roll this. The leech is kind of good. And uh, uh, betrayal. No. We do it. If we've got the opportunity to re-roll this, which, yes, Daddy Longlegs. We should re-roll it into something like Daddy Longlegs that really gives us that extra benefit that we need. The um, the curse that we have on this floor is another confidence diminisher. Not knowing how much HP you have, it's it's oddly, you know. It, it, it really gets in. It gets into your brain. It it does that. It's invasive. It's an invasive thought thing. You don't know how well you're doing. You don't know whether you're going to die on the next hit. It it puts the pressure on something chronic. We have got 15 cents, even though that's illegible from here. So uh, I th no. <laughs> I thought about it. I was thinking Box of Friends did us really well recently. Uh, but we have Soup the Whoop, and we're going to make it work. Box of Friends could be really good, especially if we get a really decent set of familiars, but right now, uh, Box of Friends is going to improve the... Uh, ooh, no, no, that's the worst thing that could have possibly happened. <laughs> There's no way of me getting that now. Box of Friends would improve Cuban Meat here. It would give us a second level, and then third level, and then fourth level if we could move it, uh, use it more than one time on a room. Uh, but it, otherwise it would only give us a second little Steven, which honestly is, doesn't seem that fantastic. Shoot the Whoop is a... Oh. It's not an underrated item. I think the rating that Shoot the Whoop gets is consummate with the quality of Shoot the Whoop. Double Ragman, are you fucking kidding me? But I think Shoot the Whoop just saved us, so I may have to rethink it. Uh, oh, I pressed E by accident. I'm going to use the Joker card now, because why not? Um, unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure this is valuable in any respect. So I'm not going to take it. Uh, we've done the entire floor. That was brilliant. Can't really complain about that. We've cut up, according to the clock. So that was a good floor. Hmm, why not? Right, we get a few extra coins. And right, straight away we get a few extra coins. 
I'm going to use this once. But keep this. We get a few extra coins, but also when we do get hit, there's a chance that we um, pick up the HP, that the, the coins having taken the XP damage, which kind of makes up for it, I think. Um, I wasn't expecting to not find a blood bank here. I was expecting to find a blood bank. Uh, obviously, each hit of a blood bank gives you coins, and it will give me more coins for having piggy bank. Uh, didn't work out. There was no blood bank. Such is life, I suppose. I guess I had bad credit with the blood bank agency. Yeah, we can beat those just as they pop down again, I suppose we should say. We can't do bank shots, which is probably one of the major uh, disbenefits of technology. I learned in geography that disbenefits is a word, and I took damage there, and I took damage there. Look, <laughs> I want these things. There we go. We're slow enough that I can't really dodge in and out of that, which is upsetting. So let's try not to completely screw ourselves over here. We did have plenty of red HP. Shoot the Whoop is doing really well, actually. I'm tempted to just keep hold of it for general principles, just to see how well we can do with it. don't really want Bob's Rotten Head, see above, but also yeah, Bob's Rotten Head. I'm not even going to take it for the purported Bob transformation. Uh, yeah, let's just walk into Chubb. I seem to be doing badly today. This is expected. Uh, because... What was that noise? It's expected because I have had a little bit to drink. I thought it would be a good idea to play the run now. It wasn't. I'm expecting by the end of the run to be... Ow. I thought I was dodging, but it turned out I was stuck on a, a, a hole. Never mind, never mind. Just chill out, man. Look at our HP. It's terrible. Oh, I seem to have picked up Bob's rotten head. That's what that noise was. Right. Uh, then can I have my shoot the whip back, maybe? I guess we could find a secret room. It's probably here. No. Tumty tum. Let's go and get what I actually want. For once, I actually want shoot the whip, which is actually strange. How did I not notice that? There's something wrong with my brain. I've only had a small amount. I'm going to stop talking about the fact that I've had a little bit to drink. I think it's probably not necessarily relevant, and it may sound like I'm excusing myself, and there is no excusing this. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> this is going to be a long run, so prepare yourselves. We took technology against probably my... Uh... Ooh, you're hidden, are you? Probably against all advice that you could ever get. I took technology. I'm hoping to get some damage upgrades and some tears upgrades, the sort of things that makes technology uh, an amazing item. Maybe a spoon bender. Plenty of money to go in here. Not greed. Not greed. Curse. Everything gone. No curses, please. That's perfect. I'm going to take this because I'm scared. What are we going to do with the get out of jail free card? I guess it could get us out of... I don't know. I've got it. I don't know what it does. I think it just opens doors. Uh, which means the best I can think of it doing for us is to give us a, a secret room. Because we want to do boss rush. We want to actually you know, fight boss rush rather than just get to it. So we don't want to get out of jail free there. We're going to get to Mega Stan anyway. The Magician is basically what I asked for. Uh, so we don't need it here because Gerd is almost dead. Shoot the Whoop is really coming through in the clutch right now. I've never seen Shoot the Whoop do this much damage. Jesus Juice is a damage upgrade, as requested. Now, this is interesting. Spirit Hearts, please. Uh, not really what I asked for. I'm going to take this because I think it's better. But we can't take both. It's too dangerous. We will lose miserably if we took both. Because I couldn't think of anything to do with Get Out of Jail Free, I've decided to leave it behind. The Magician on Boss Rush could be extremely valuable. It being uh, a single room spoon bender, homing shots. Ooh, that was close. Uh, we are in Horror Babylon state right now, so we're doing more damage and we're faster. See, this is another situation where bank shots are really useful. We have to wait for them to stop shooting and hit them. Um, yeah, the, the spoon bender effect for the entirety of boss rush is going to be valuable. 
It means we can hit things without being next to them. Which, as we've already discovered, can be a problem with technology. Although simply getting a Spoonbender would be tremendous right now. And I'm about to learn that I could have made up for... Okay, good. I was going to say, we're about to learn that I could have made for made up for the fact that I spent all my uh, spirit hearts, which I didn't actually do, but I could have done, by blowing up those blue fires in here. But we took damage. Ah, Halo. Well, it's not brilliant right now because it loses us Horror Babylon, but we can sell it. I'm hoping that we can sell it again. No spirit hearts, no spirit hearts. Well, there's two. Doesn't entirely... Uh, unjustify what's uh, the opposite of justify is doesn't condemn me for having not taken the other deal with the oh, very good the other deal with the devil but at the same time um we didn't know we were going to have the opportunity when we took that deal uh, i have to dodge these and be in the right place to get those there we go crikey probably could have uh, stood to you shoot the boot once in a while like that Oh, there's a Tinted Drop in there. We should go back for that. So, we are in a situation where we could possibly have taken the mark as well. I was not prepared to risk it. Were you? That's the question. We have found the item room. I may care about the shop. Maybe not. Wow, you managed to get creep right the way over here. Uh, that makes you a dick, frankly. Please die faster. We need to get rid of bloat. <laughs> it's going to hurt. The trouble with bloat is that you can only really attack from above. Or try and <laughs> nip past like we did just now. But Roid Rage is fine. Speed and range. Range doesn't really matter, but the speed is great. And it's the second syringe, so Spun is in our future, I think. Uh, do we care about the shop? No. I want to get to Boss Rush, so I'm really going to try and like, cannon ahead. We can probably spend time on this floor, but on that floor, not too bothered. Poor Babylon is gone. Uh, we need to basically spend two hearts on a deal with the devil to get it back, which is not unlikely. So I'm not, I'm not uh, un, unconcerned. I'm not unconcerned. I am unconcerned by that. I keep starting sentences with a negative, for example, or a, a positive to suggest that I am in a state, but then I can't think of the word for the state, and I have to use the word for the opposite state, which I then am, of course, not. Very confusing. Like, cons concernedness. I could be concerned by something, but what's the state of being unconcerned? Uh, what's happening here? These things don't seem to realise that they're done. Okay. I guess I bugged them out. That's fine. This worked well last time. We'll do it again. A card. The Two of Hearts. Uh, it could be valuable. I, I didn't really mean to take that. Oh, fuck you, Chubb. Man, Shoot the Whoop's doing really well for us. Our damage penalty is probably going to be pretty high because I've just sort of... I didn't take the necessary precautions before starting this run, which is to be in a situation, a state of mind, where you're capable of actually forming sensibly. Whether we can do a uh, power pill? Oh yeah, of course. I just got PhD, so I know what all the pills are. Whether I can actually do Mega Stan? That remains to be seen, quite frankly. Oh, I didn't get two, two plays there. And we got into Horror Babylon, so that's fine with me. Uh, I don't know whether I care to play that any further. Maybe if, if we get red HP, that's a good place to sort of dump it. I mean, it's a, it's a HP sink. But for now, I really want to ensure that we are in Boss Rush when Boss Rush starts. I'm going to keep the Magician card. We're going to do this Tinted Drop and hope that there's a super secret room next to it. There is. There is. I was going to say there is not, and then there turned out to be, and my brain had to backtrack. No greed, but no value either. There's no point buying that second... Um, that, that final spirit heart, it's not going to really bring us any joy. It's not going to add anything to my life. It's going to be forgotten over time. Lemon Party is okay. Well, I guess we've got it. But it did do something. Uh, I just walked into that. I thought, why not, yeah? Why not? There's only one room left. I'm not going to 
I don't care. We have Horror Babylon, we have a Magician card, we have a Mom Fight. That was a decent amount of damage. For it being Mom that we hit. Mom has a lot of HP. Uh, I guess we're going to the Dark Room then. Right, what do we win? I think. I think the wafer is absolutely worth it. And I think Shoot the Weep is going to be extremely valuable for us. Uh, we'll use a Magician card as promised. And now we don't really have to think about it. I don't think Shoot the Weep benefits from Magician, which is unfortunate, but. Life goes on, I guess. Stop trying to hit something that you can't hit. You dick. This looks like the uh, the original Rebirth boss rush shape. This is fine with me. What we got here? Ah, you fuckers. Again, we can we can stand non-orthogonally and deal damage. We get a shoot do whoop every. <laughs> this is amazing. We get a shoot do whoop every wave because each wave gives us two charges on our item. Ah, uh, that one didn't die immediately, which is upsetting, but... What can we do? This is going to be the quickest boss rush of all time. I'm still reasonably expectational that we're going to find enemies that don't conform. But, I think we're doing okay. Yep, yeah, uh, stupid carrying queen there didn't drop us any, uh, any red poops, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm mostly anticipating that we end up with an enemy that, yeah, like that, starts off underground so we can't see it. Uh, and then does bullshit things like that. And then, of course, Gurdy shows up at the top of the screen. But we're doing fine. We've taken a couple of hits. What did you expect, I suppose? But we do have the wafer. The wafer is going to assist us. Basically, we're going to have this situation on the hush fight. That was extremely quick. We're only 23 seconds past... <laughs> the time we would have had to be in boss rush in the first place. Well, this is a fast run. So I'm expecting Hush to still take some time, because Hush has one hell of a lot of HP. Uh, I don't really want to give my money to that particular Joker there. Uh, Daddy Longlegs, I can see you floating above me, but I'd rather you, you know, visited your wrath upon something else. Let's just do this. I should do some damage anyway. Last Assist is one of the enemies that has this feature where it has the property of being a pain in the ass. Um, by which I mean to say you can't do damage to all um, all stages of Last Assist at once. It has to do the animations between stages. Oh, fuck off. There we go. Balls of Steel. Perfect. I was just thinking what we actually need to do at this stage is find a way to get our two Spirit Hearts back. But now we're back at that. Now I need to find a way of getting rid of my red HP. Hoping to find a deal with the devil before we run out. Because we don't get deals with the devil after win two. See, we only have two chances at deals with the devil now, and I expect one of them to be Krampus. And the other one could easily have no way of selling HP. Which means, in fact, I'm going to go back here and undo what I said. And stand here. There we go. We do have, um... Anything? No. Uh, I'm not going to play any further. We do have the wafers, so we don't need to worry about permanent Polaroid invincibility. We also don't have the Polaroid, so we don't need to worry about permanent Polaroid invincibility, but... Um, you know, normally the, the game is that you have to try and stay at a half-heart interval, so if you do take red heart damage, the other half of your red heart like when you take a full heart damage you still have half a heart left and therefore you get the benefit of uh, Polaroid Invincibility but with the wafer every everything we take is half a heart damage so that even applies to the uh, to the judgment that we played just now. So we got to play the judgment several times but I, I did sort of get in a mindset where I thought that we were going to be taking a full heart, uh, no, well I thought we were going to be dealing with permanent Polaroid invincibility and I'd forgotten that we weren't. So I did take a bit of extra damage that I didn't intend to. I'm going to take these pills because uh, we've got PhD. What makes you larger is not something I would consider to be a, a good pill. But PhD is not guaranteed to give you only good pills, or rather it, it does give you only good pills, but what the game considers to be good pills 
includes several things that are not, you know, they don't hurt you, but they're still pains. Still not great pills, like what makes you larger, uh, puberty, are you a wizard, things like that. Uh, this room could do with being done quickly, which is fine. Uh, where should we go? This is one of those floors where you just have to keep trying to find the way out. Wow. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that at all. Let's go in here, if you don't mind. We found a way out. That's perfect. Just uh, try and cajole this thing so land. Oh, there's another one. And there's three and there's four, I guess. Nope, just three. Okay, good. Bloat. Did we already beat you? A uh, range upgrade doesn't help. I'm actually not going to take it for the simple reason. Oh, we get brimstone. We do. Brimstone technology is now uh, a synergy. It didn't used to be. So we got a deal with the devil. We sold our red HP. We now have permanent horror Babylon and brimstone with the technology laser wrapped around it, which is an awesome synergy. And I'm very thankful that they added it. I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for tinted drops, just for obvious reasons. Uh, it would be nice to get some more rock, and it would also be nice to ensure that we have a good amount of survivability, because we are going to have to eventually uh, do Mega Stan. So. Uh, obviously. Oh, shit. Careful. <laughs> Help. Uh, obviously, Brimstone is going to facilitate this to a great extent, but it's not a game winner by any stretch of the imagination. Although... Now that we have Brimstone, we're really not going to be wanting to use uh, Shoop the Whoop, which is sort of a, a, a crappy Brimstone. Uh, although I still want um, Spoonbender, believe it or not. I use it anyway, just to just to make it feel wanted, you know. I know what it's like to be superseded. You have to. You have to make things feel like they're still involved, even when they're kind of not. Good positioning. More? Oh. Okay, good. Uh, we can probably afford to do this, for whatever reason. The consumables are valuable in terms of points, but not in terms of anything else, really. Wow. I made it. Obviously, my inebriation is where, 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 where. wearing off. Uh, obviously not. I, I hear everyone say at once. Um, what do we do here? I really would like Spoonbender. We are doing the hush fight, so there's still a chance. You know, there's the item rooms with two items in, of which we can take one. And the shop in the hush lobby. Where the hell is our, our boss room? I'm guessing it's not through that tiny little room there, so we'll just go this way. Brimstone does allow us to really keep out of the way of our adversaries, to some extent. Of course, if the shape of the of the actual room does not allow it, it will not be the case. This is one of those cases. Anything over here? Yes. I mean, we could just sort of strafe like this and assume that we'll get some things. And then there's this one. Good. I guess we'll do this big room. It's got to be somewhere, right? I'm hoping to get some more pills. Um, we did pick up PhD, and the only thing I've got out of it is one makes you larger. Not entirely true, that was probably a bit disingenuous to say that. The only thing I've got left is one makes you larger, and that's because I didn't want to take one makes you larger, because it's the only thing that we picked up that I didn't actually want. It's just that we've had one makes you larger for quite some time. This is spun. Boom! Uh, I'm just checking for tinted rocks, don't really care. Let's do it lives. We're not doing a ton of damage, but Brimstone has that sort of who cares how much damage you're doing effects where you just spam enemies and hope for the best. I right, can do a uh, hush, which we will. So this could take some time, so hold on to your hats. We're three minutes early for hush, so it's not that much time. We've got all the keys that we need. Oh, that could, could do, that could produce a bunch of coins, which could be valuable. If I can pick it up. Yes. All these uh, consumables are just points at this stage. They're not valuable to me. Um, I don't think spoon ben uh, I don't think my reflection does anything for us. So I might as well take glitter bombs. It gives us five bombs which you can use against Hush. And I don't think cursed eye does anything. So look, 
look is going to help here. Unfortunately, we did not get the spoon bender that I wanted. Uh, that's okay. I <sighs> see what this is. It's a wheel of fortune. That could be good. Unfortunately, every time the uh, the challenge run takes us down to um, to Mega Stan, <laughs> I just realised that. Um, the, the greed head means we can't see our brimstone charge, which is a bloody pain. Every time the challenge takes us to Mega Satan, we have to do the dark room. This means that we're not in a chest, which means we're much less likely to get items. I don't think the lamb actually is available, so we can't beat the lamb. That is a truth fact. In order to use bombs here, I'm just thinking, uh, we're going to have to kick them. I'm concentrating on dodging here. We should probably fire once in a while. You know, just for shits and giggles, I guess. Which is an odd phrase. I mean... Do you habitually poop for fun? Yeah, we can do damage with bombs to some extent. It's not the it's not the best thing in the world. Would have liked to have magician here, but I think it did as well. Ah, it didn't actually. I was going to say it did as well on boss rush, but now I come to think of it, that was really bad. But we do have the wafer, so we can take more hits than usual, which is good because I usually take a shitload of hits anyway. The wafer didn't. No, the magician card didn't really help us on boss rush because we were doing so much damage with shoot the whoop, which apparently does not recharge when you beat the blue baby part of this fight, which shocks me. Okay. Um, I would like to have had it now, because this is the sort of fight where you want to hit a lot of things at once. Apparently, Shoot the Whoop can in fact carry you these days, which is news, because Shoot the Whoop used to be a pretty shit item. Is this going to hit us? Yes? No. Okay, good. Just stay here. I think this is an okay spot. I'm not sure. I don't know if the spots where you're okay are okay in all waves of that, or just okay in the one that's happening. Like if it, if it, when it changes direction, are you still okay? Who knows? Not much use reading the wiki on that. It does give some tactics, but you know, it's, it's not the greatest. Having this infinite range, by the way. Excuse me. So apparently, no, <laughs> you're not safe in all positions. Oh, you're not safe in one position from all directions. That's fine. That's fine. Pop up. Having this infinite range is extremely useful because it means that we can... Oh, I'm just going to run through now. Use the invincibility to get somewhere else. That's the point here. I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid these shots. There's just so fucking many of them. Oh, I forgot I could do that. Do you think I can run around Hush? Uh, I'm not. I'm just literally not worrying about damage right now. Just trying to get the fight over with. I figured the easiest way to take less damage is to kill the thing that's damaging you. Oh, there's a uh, daddy long legs. Kind of helping out. Not terrible, but not extraordinarily helpful either. Can you? Uh, can you come back? Thank you. These. Um. By the way, these things. They go slightly slower than you can. There we go. We did take a lot of damage. That's going to hurt our damage bonus, but... Oh, our damage penalty. I don't care. I survived. And it didn't take forever. Five minutes, apparently. Well, less than five. Still. Uh, that's a pretty easy room. I'm a fan of that. So Brimstone is going to have to carry us through the Mega Satan fight. Uh, I'm not going to take that, which is an odd thing to say. Especially when it's an eternal heart. I genuinely thought that thing would be dead, so I didn't try to dodge it. Uh, but not having Horror Babylon on the next floor is not negotiable. We have to have the Horror Babylon for the next floor. Um, if we find a Joker card, I will pick up the eternal heart. Uh, yes, I will. But for anything less than an eternal heart, no siree. No deal. Fast chub is fast. Yep. Shit me. I sort of watched him come at me then. I knew it was happening. 
<laughs> the suit of the whoop just killing everything for us. Ah, oh, can't be bothered going that back for that. So why should I? I don't know how long it's taking us to charge our brimstone, which is unfortunate in the extreme. We have found our boss fight. That's interesting. I mean, should we should we get through Shoal as fast as possible? Avoid taking any more damage. Try and get to the Mega Satan fight and beat it. We do have the wafer. Or should we go looking for more, maybe, tinted drops? We do have a lot of bombs. And they're glitter bombs. Which means they could give us consumables to bolster our um, points, our score. You know, consumables always bolster your score. Even if they're uh, only. If only, <clears throat> excuse me, even if only to a small extent. Yeah, let's circle that. <laughs> Apparently, I can't pick it up. The sun card, let's use it now. There's a curse room, that's interesting. Oh, we'll use this here and do that. Nope. That was the wrong place to do it. Definitely should have done that in the dark room. Never mind. Bit of a misplay, I got slightly overexcited by doing something right and then immediately did it wrong as a result. That's okay. It happens. I uh, probably this <laughs> is amazing in every respect. Please give me something good. Maybe some golden chests. No. You're a dick. Okay, I'll let you off. This is Spoonbender. I just realised what I've got. I've got my telepathy for dummies that I asked for. I asked for Spoonbender, but. We should spend some time here. If we can get more keys... I'm much more interested in having... Oh, we should pick that up with the uh, with the Book of Revelations, actually. I'm much more interested in having Spoonbender for the Mega Satan fight than in having a possibly uncharged uh, Book of Revelations. So we'll come back and get the Book of Revelations. Here's my plan. We'll take this. We'll keep it with us. Recharging it as we go, hopefully getting a couple of extra spirit hearts to make us that more survivable in the Mega Satan fight. Uh, no, not that at all. We will not take the Eternal Hearts, even though that's kind of tempting. Because the Eternal Hearts will give us a red HP, which we can't get rid of. And therefore, we will be stuck out of the Horror of Babylon, which is not what we want. So, our best bet at the moment is to try and get as much HP out of this Book of Revelations as we can, which is apparently not as much as I was hoping. Maybe we'll get another battery, though. Maybe we'll get another battery, though. Maybe we'll get another battery. Well, that's that. There may be a battery in the Cursed Room, which I th think I should do, because it's going to cost me half as much as it normally would, because we have the wafer. Uh, so, I think one spirit heart is worth going in here. Oh, maybe. Oh, that was extraordinarily poor. But we can do this. We didn't get anything. We got balls of steel. Yes, definitely worth it. And relax, which simply makes poop. This gives us a coin. Well, could be worse. Then we'll take this. Oh, there is a battery. I'm going to spend even more points on this. <laughs> Pick up the battery, use that. Any more batteries? No. Right, now we'll do it. Right, we've got almost full HP. There's a good chance that we will not need to use any for the Satan fight. Oh, that was fine. There's a good chance we can kill most stages, if not all stages of Satan, without having to use telepathy for dummies. Which uh, fills me with confidence, which is new because normally I'm not filled with confidence. I am de-filled with de-confidence. Unconfidence filled. Careful with that. That's a bomb fly. They will explode and hurt. Can't tell when I'm charged up, which is extremely annoying, but it doesn't take a huge amount of time to do so. No damage in the Satan fight. Perfect. Now, we have a choice. Do we play the dark room for points? Try not to take damage. Or... Not. I'll do a couple of rooms. That's a uh... wow. I hate the fact that these things disappear. Obviously, that's the point. But uh, I still hate it. Let's 
try and uh, finish these off without getting hit by the irritating troll bombs. Uh, Mr. Mega is fine. Could help us on the um, on the Mega Satan fight. So I'm going to have to do two more runes because I used telepathy for dummies here. That's fine. So it turns out that I have decided to just do these runes. It's extra points. Um, points are what we're playing for. So not doing it seems eh, not necessarily foolish, but like unoptimal. Non-optimal. I'm not going to do the big runes. I think that's probably the the best way of doing this. And also, we could find some decent items. I'll use this because there's a battery available. Yeah, that kind of helped. You know, worst case, we give up now. Well, I say give up now. We abort mission now and uh, just go for the Mega Satan fight because we can always pick up that battery. I'm really not getting any items out of this, but we are getting a good amount of points. So. I feel like this is going to be a difficult one to contend with because there's no way of doing better artificially. We have to do better through skill. And I don't have any of that. Uh, as you can no doubt tell. Plenty of batteries. Might as well use this. Wow, he popped up in the worst place. Uh, just like your mama, I guess. I'm really looking for chests, actually, game, if that's all the same to you. You know, the, the things you can get on the dark room, which gives you extra awesome... Items? No? Fuck it. I've had enough of this. I'm going. Mega stand, here we come. Oh, you have to stand on that. Right, we have telepathy for dummies activated. Now all we have to do is shoot the shit out of Mega Satan for a while. Uh, none of this, please. Just keep it calm. Probably could have been firing whilst doing that. Not, I think, the end of the world that I wasn't. This should be easy. Yep. This should be easy. If we can get them in line with one another and me, then we're golden, I guess. It's only when they're in weird places. Ooh, that was close. But we have to really worry about where they are. So, I think the point here is that Mega Satan and his hands are going to be in line with one another quite a lot. Envy should be easy because of that. This should be easy because I can avoid that because I'm fast, which is new. Extremely beneficial. Oh, I got hit there. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We have got the wafer. Uh, that was terrible, terrible damage. The wafer will afford us twice as many hits as usual. And we've got Spoonbender, which means we can, of course... Well, not Spoonbender, but we've got the Spoonbender effect, the homing tears. Uh, which means we can stand not next to things that are going to shoot us orthogonally. It's great. I want to know what you're doing, though. There we go. Whilst you're doing this, I can actually probably think about, yeah, shooting you whilst you're doing it. That's one of the less mentally taxing attacks to dodge. And then these ones, we just sort of hope for the best. This is probably not my favourite attack. We can use Cuban meat tactically. Nope, we can't. <laughs> Apparently. How the hell do you dodge this shit? Like that. And go through. This phase will. Uh... Wow, Spoonbender has a great range on it. This phase will. You can see it gets cracked. Oh, well, I was going to say he starts to take damage visually, as he does take damage, but we did do it. Uh, and I'm starting to think maybe I should have just done the rest of the floor, but we did pretty well. 330th. We did all our rushes, we did Mega Satan. Took a horrible damage penalty, which was expected. And a big item penalty, because I kept deliberating on whether I should take something or not. But 330th is better than it was before, which was 500th, I think? 1700th. 71st is probably still my best. I think that was the same as the Lost Run. Anyway. 330th is a respectable position for saying that we didn't do anything outrageously good on that run. Uh, so, I'm going to take that one to the bank. And I'm going to keep it in my pocket. So, I will upload this now, which... You have already seen me do because you're watching it. So now that I've, now that you're watching it, I have already uploaded it. But for me, in the future, well, I'm in the past. You're in the future. Anyway, since you're in the future, it's probably already tomorrow. So I will see you now. <laughs>